Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Brandenburg in Europa Universalis 4. So I've been thinking about this, I've had a day to think about it in fact. And I think I may have touched on it a bit towards the end there, but um, here's what we're going to try. Um, I still think there's a chance we might be able to survive. I'm going to tell Lithuania to maybe mm, just sort of go siege Moscow, you know, like go take over the capital of Muscovy. Since they're the only person we're still allowed to separate peace, um, I think all we really need to do is get their enthusiasm to go down a bit. Unfortunately, they're at 45 right now, but... Maybe. Just maybe. What we need to do is just try to buy time for England to win their war with Scotland, and uh, buy time for the length of war bonus to tick down so that we can force Muscovy out. If Muscovy comes out, then Poland-Lithuania will come west and come try to help us. So, um, I'm gonna keep my two armies here, and we're gonna try to get the hell out of here. Something like that, I think. Plan on speed three. Hungary has announced Bohemia as a new rival. Also, I noticed something really weird when you, uh... When you load in the game, the current price is, uh... It's 50... It's... It's a lot. It says current price two, but look at these numbers. Uh, trade values, 711893.57. I wonder why it does that, but I don't... I don't think it's actually bugged. I think on the... On the month, it'll be fixed. Otherwise, my Iron Man save's just totally wrecked. I don't know. We will be gone on the 28th. We're going to escape narrowly by one day. However, there is another army here of Bavaria which isn't involved. So, we are going to make it away. Hopefully, we continue to, uh, to be able to move away. Now, we could park in Danzig and, and maybe... Maybe... They will... Uh, be nice enough to let us just siege it. Alright, so the month is ticked. Let's go check out Moskva. Yeah, all the, all the numbers updated. I don't know why. That's different, though, since the last patch. Now, yes, yes, I know, I know. People are complaining, and I, I think it's justified. I've, I've, I've made some mistakes. And, and every time I've made a mistake in an Iron Man campaign, I always try to tell people the same thing. First off, you make mistakes, too. It's just that you don't have thousands of people critiquing your performance. So, don't try to act like you know... Or to play the game perfectly, because you don't. Everyone makes mistakes. And then secondly, it's Iron Man. So what am I going to do? Only record a series if I play perfectly and then only upload those? That would never happen. It's just, whatever. You know, mistakes happen. I mean, we learned, I learned, that, uh, yeah, the whole Holy Roman Empire thing is different now. And, uh, oops, that was kind of a facepalm moment, I agree. But in the past, it wasn't that way. You could, you could switch religion and you would just piss everyone off. You didn't lose the Empire title. I think, personally, that since they made such a significant change, they should probably make it so that if you are um, going to embrace Protestant and you're currently the Empire, that it would give you an alert. Like, are you sure you want to do this? You'll give up the Empire title. Um, that seems to me like something that would be pretty reasonable to do. But, we'll see. Now, I don't know. I mean, the armies are getting kind of small. There's, there's a, a lot down there. But, um, we might get ignored. The problem is that Danzig is going to take forever to siege. Leader Siege 4. Holy crap, do we have that good of a leader? Damn. Wow, that's that's actually quite impressive. Brandenburg Siege ability is reduced slightly. Um, we don't have the port blockaded and we have no cannons. If England could just get off their little thumbs and just send this navy into here, I could totally blockade all of this. I could blockade the Straits and prevent Denmark and Sweden from, from accessing us from the north. But no. No, they've got to patrol around here like a bunch of dummies. Hey, cool music. Alright, hopefully Lithuania wins this fight. And hopefully um, all of our enthusiasm stays high enough. Poland's still at 32, looks okay. We're totally out of manpower, so sieging with all of these men is going to cost a lot more. Hmm. No, I don't, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think we need to go, we need to go help. Um, yeah, for you, just my, my war. We need to go and help Lithuania beat Mos uh, Muscovy. If we can force Muscovy out, there's a, a small chance. And the majority of the chance hedges on whether or not the war lasts long enough for England to come and help us. I mean, they are winning this war. They are at 9 war score. So they just got the war goal, 2.8 ticking war score, going up by 0.4 per month. And, uh... Apparently, Gores is occupied by Scotland. Are you sure? How'd that happen? I 
at war. Okay, so Scotland, England. I don't know. Some someone else gave control to Scotland. I'm almost hundred percent sure Scotland didn't put an army down there. But anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go help out over here, ish. Although it does look like they might be able to win that fight on their own. It's so close. Oh, you know what? We can actually look at ally, ally battles now. Pretty convenient. So our buddy Lithuania has a three-four versus a two-two, and a crossing penalty. There's really no way he should lose. Eight to three. As I say that, of course. Oh, nope. They've reinforced. Good. This music is awesome, but it's it, do, it does kind of break the uh, immersion. It's a little bit different. Just in case they won't go for Moscow, I'm going to go for Moscow. They might even be retreating to there. Lithuania, what are you doing, man? Go siege Moscow. I told you to go siege it. Why aren't you sieging it? Alright, so we've got all four of our diplomats free. I suppose it couldn't hurt to improve relations with France and, uh, I don't know, Castile. And, uh... Um... Papal State? Yep, yeah, we could improve relations with them a bit. We'll keep a diplomat free. I mean, look at all these troops. They've, just, they've got all these men over here. Must be still at 40. I wish I could just control my, my allies' troops. I mean, this... I can't... There's nothing I can do against this. The only thing that's good about it is that they keep coming in during winter and suffering sieges. Suffering attrition. But... England. You backstabbing bastard. We do have a lot of money for mercenaries. Look at this. We're gonna... Scotland has entered into a military alliance with our enemy of Sweden. Supply limit here is only 17. We're going to suffer attrition just moving through that land. Can't really afford to do that. Lithuania, you've got these amazing generals. What are you doing in Moldavia? I mean, you guys are... You guys are dense. You're blocking my entry. <laughs> Fine, I'm going to go over there. I don't care. Some attrition be damned. 7%. You suck. Why would you do this? Go for the freaking capital. Do I have to tell you to get this one first, and then you'll go for that one? Is that how it works? Or, you know what? Probably Poland, being the owner of Lithuania, has them set to, like, not be aggressive or some garbage. Oh my god, severe winter. Yeah, that's not good. However... This is inland, so we don't have to worry about the blockade, and we've got four siege value. I mean, we could do this pretty quick. Let's, um... We're gonna suffer that attrition no matter what, just because of the winter. So it's not like there's anything I can really do about it. We're not over the supply limit. Fine, you know what? Just suffer the attrition. Who cares? Either the war's gonna end terribly, or it's gonna win... It's gonna end gloriously. But we've gotta give ourselves the opportunity to win gloriously. And it's not gonna happen with... All of this nonsense over here. Suffering attrition in his own land. I swear, he's denser than a box of rocks. Oh, now he's moving. And now he's going to put, like, 40 regiments in a supply limit. Province of what? How much? What's the supply limit here? 13. Yeah, that's brilliant. Brilliant Lithuania. Oh, God. No, don't come here. Stop it. This is no one. No objective. Get out of this province. Don't do it. Thuringia. You're just going to make me suffer more attrition, aren't you? You... you... okay. Here, Lithuania, siege this. Like, siege Vladimir. Like, siege stuff up here. I mean, there's... There's, <laughs> there's still... It, it's within us that we could win. He's just not being very smart. He's chasing this army around. Bring some, send one of that, art, some of that artillery over here to Moscow. If you really wanted to win the game, like you'd obviously go for the capital. Damn AI. Hey, we could become the defender of the faith for no reason at all. I think we do need to do like ne the next tech level. I just really wanted to get military tech costs down. 
I, mean, I don't know. At this point, if we get through the war, it might actually still make sense now to actually power through the tech level. Or the, uh, sorry, the idea groups. Hey, England. You know you don't need to have 14 regiments and 10 regiments to siege these, right? You could just carpet siege them now and then send the rest of them over here. Shoot, they're making progress on our spot that's got our navy. That's bad. Come on, 7% chance? Let's get lucky. Now seems like a great time to get lucky. Just a little bit of luck. Luck be a lady. It could happen. Damn. It didn't. We only got one siege progress. Damn. That means our boats are going to come out. And then... 8, 9... There's a lot of uh, galleys in there. Fortunately, not very much of our territory is actually in danger of getting sieged quite yet, aside from that one province. Has Muscovy lost any enthusiasm yet? They're at 29, they're getting lower. Unfortunately, Sweden can't be forced out, even though they're at medium. It's just... just a matter of buying time. We could still make it out ahead. I have faith. Bender's dessert. That's not what I wanted. Oh, this is unfortunate. England, I mean, you could just... You have all these heavies. You have all those heavy ships. Where'd you... Ten heavies could completely annihilate this army. This navy. It's just... Just not nice. The Sonic Order has accepted peace with their former enemies of Poland. This will cost them stuff. Was that our war? No. Looks like the Poland... Poland had another war going on or something. Alright, we'll focus all of your attention on this then, dummy. 21% chance. Roll the dice! Damn it. Scotland has accepted peace from Austria. That's good. That's really good. That means that England's going to gain some more war score, I think. Yeah. So hopefully England, I don't know what England's going for, but if they could end their war soon, that would be great. And we're going to need to... It's, it's, you can no longer try to, like, run your navy away, because if they flee this port and then they get beaten, they retreat back into the port, and then they'll just get sieged out and then forced back out again. So we have to wait till the siege happens, and then once they fight, we can try to retreat to some other port. But... It's not feeling good. Taking Muscovy's capital, probably not going to be enough. Well, maybe. They're 23 already. If we were to offer tribute, if I gave them money and annulled my treaties with Poland, they would actually go out right now. Let's wait. Let's wait and see if we can keep the Polish alliance. Maybe after we siege their capital. Come on, game. Just give me that damn province. Watch. He'll get it. Course. Mm, that's awesome. Such a cool. Now this, look at that Muscovy down here. Denmark. It's just this coalition is nuts. Come on, game. Work with me here. Work with me. 42%. It's very likely. Damn you. Oh my god. Reinforce that. Don't lose any more battles. I think we'll go up to speed 4 while we wait, since there's not much that I'm really doing right now. We've lost that siege, okay. It's unfortunate, but we haven't really had too much... We've got some war exhaustion. The blockades hurt. Yep, there goes our navy. So now we're going to try to retreat to, like, Hinterpommern. We've won the capital siege. Excellent. Okay. So, Muscovy's now down to medium. Let's see what we can get them. Clear offer. They will not accept anything we can offer them right now. What are you talking about? They're almost willing to accept white peace. Will not betray their ally for gold. That's new. If I just concede defeat to them, just give up some prestige. That seems... better. I mean, they're so close, though, to white peace. Maybe we should just wait a second. 
What's going to change in a moment? Like what's... Okay, let's just... I want to take a look, closer look at this. Muscovy. Length of war will tick down by one. And their war exhaustion will go up. Okay. We'll risk waiting another month, maybe. And see if we can separate piece as a... As a white piece. And save our prestige. Amazingly, my navy is not being attacked. I don't understand that. Let's uh, try to retreat into Lubick. Maybe we can... Hey, it didn't even get hit. Amazing. I don't know why. They, I guess they didn't find them. <laughs> they didn't see the ships as they came out. Alright, let's try again. It's been a month. Muscovy. White piece. Hey, they'll actually surrender. And give us 69 ducats. That's amazing. Alright, what about war reparations? That is so tempting. Man, Muscovy's getting big. Um, no, we'll just, we'll take the money. Get out, Muscovy. Go away. Alright. Come on, guys. Get over this way. Now, unfortunately, Poland's at medium, which means they're going to want out soon, too. And, of course, Austria's probably going to separate peace pretty quick. Denmark's actually at medium. You know what we might even be able to do? They don't They don't even want to be in this war for very much longer, either. Worst case scenario, we might be able to just negotiate a, a nearly a white peace. Right now, they would want three, two provinces, and that's not going to happen. Just, just stay in the war a little bit longer, Poland. You'll be fine. England, I hate you. I hate you with a passion. Like, who is in your, who's in your war here? At war with England and Portugal. I'm having a hard time actually determining like who is in this war. Current wars. English conquest of Aberdeen. Oh, France! Okay, that explains why England's not getting very much war score, and why England is completely useless. They're fighting France. I knew that. So they're spending all of their navy trying to blockade France, and uh, being completely and utterly useless. Which also means that they're not going to get very much war score, even after they full occupy Scotland, which means that they are not going to end this war for quite a while. Awesome, England. Okay, well, we've significantly improved, I think, our position. Um, however, it still doesn't look good. Denmark's opinion of us goes up, or we gain 15 prestige. I think we gain 15 prestige for a war with them. Relative strength of the alliance is um, still technically in their favor slightly, but quite significantly, considering a lot of this army is England. So we're looking bad. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Hopefully, we can continue to make things better. We'll see. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.